tell me about your experience like in the minor leagues i know it's not exactly the best experience because you know it's a lot of travel you don't get you you're very underpaid but uh if you want to talk a little bit about your uh, minor league experience well my minor league experience was different than all the guys that are coming up now in their minor league experiences because they're getting paid more they have better accommodations there's like i guess rules and guidelines of what should and shouldn't be done now compared to when i was coming up okay. uh, but when I was coming up in the minors, it was a lot of grind, a lot of days, a lot of long travel, a lot of long bus rides, a lot of peanut butter and jellies, a lot of chips, uh, just a lot of wear and tear on the body, just seeing how much you really wanted to play baseball and how much you really enjoyed baseball at the time and not getting paid a lot. Compared to the guys getting paid now, I think we were getting paid, what, I think the most I got paid before I hit free agency was like, 25 or 2800 a month before taxes or something like that and after i became a free agent it started creeping up more but like i remember my one of my teammates the first time that he got a comma in one of his paychecks in AAA. he was like the happiest i've ever seen it <laughs> it was like one of the funniest things i've ever seen he's like dude this is the first time i've ever got a comma in like two weeks of like a paycheck like ever and i was just like jesus how long have you been playing and this was like he had been playing for like four years at this point, four or five years at this point too. And I was just like, geez, I was like, man, that's tough. And you only, and you only get paid for six months too. So. Yeah, that's, that's rough. And I know, do you think some of that changed out like after COVID? Cause there was kind of, cause I know during, before they started the season, they had the, you know, of course the COVID shut or shortened season before that, they were not sure if they were going to have a year, but there was talk about the minor league system. Do you think it kind of changed after 2020 and they paid him a little better after they heard so many complaints? I mean, I think that they paid him after they just got enough pressure to have to pay him. I don't think COVID really did it. I think it's been in the works and guys have been trying to get paid more than minors for a long time. I think that once like those lawsuits came out and the spotlight was put on, you know, the treatment of the minor leaguers and how much they were getting paid and how much labor that was going into it and things of that nature. And the pressure finally got to the point where it's like, okay, like you need to change something. But baseball has such a way that, you know, they don't, like no entities can like touch them to a certain extent. So if the union, if the minor leaguers would have never formed a union, I think it would have still been kind of revolving around the same aspect as before. But since they have a union now, and they're getting things pushed across. They get better things and more things. We just never had the ability to do that. Well, we had the ability, we just never decided to do it while I was coming.